Scientific research is proving that a healthy gut means a healthy mind. If you search online the list of books and studies that highlight this gut-brain connection, you will see how the microbes in your stomach hold the key to your health and happiness. It turns out if you eat healthy, non-processed, plant-based food, you get healthy bacteria in your stomach, which communicate directly with your brain along a superhighway called the vagus nerve, the myelin insulating layer that forms around the nerves in the brain and spinal cord is also regulated by the microbes in your stomach. There is a whole new branch of medicine called psychobiotics, which looks at how the introduction of good or bad bacteria into your stomach through the food you eat can enhance or cripple the growth of beneficial gut bacteria and in turn influence your thinking. How you feel, how you think, and how you behave, whether you have lots of energy, sleep well, and think clearly or not, is intimately connected with the food that you eat. These scientists are showing how fast food can wipe out these beneficial gut bacteria. So if students are trying to study but are feeding their bodies with fast food, they will keep feeling tired irritable and be unable to get the grades they worked so hard to achieve. Scientists are now calling the gut the second brain because according to Dr. Michael Mosley, your guts are lined with brain cells. And here's what we find fascinating. Today's science is catching up with the Bible, a book entitled A History of epidemiologic methods and concepts states that Daniel chapter 1 is possibly the first clinical trial in all recorded history. The book of Daniel was written especially for the time of the end. So here is a very important guideline for studying the book of Daniel. Daniel consists of two things, stories and prophecies. The stories tell us how to live in the time of the end and the prophecies tell us when the time of the end has come. So the prophecies are predictions, whereas the stories are about preparation. Because Daniel chapter one tells us the story of how Daniel ate healthy, plant-based food, the food that they ate in the Garden of Eden, this is God's prescription for how we should eat in these last days of Earth's history. After three years of eating a plant-based diet, the king himself tested Daniel and his three friends. And in all matters of wisdom and understanding about which the king examined them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers who were in all his realm. Love for God and love for people were Daniel's principal motives for choosing to eat a plant-based diet. He knew that his body was a living temple for the indwelling of God's Holy Spirit. So taking care of his body was an act of loving service to God and to people. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God.